Hey guys, look at my inventory size. It's a little bit pathetic, right? I still use 15 slot bags, yeah. But I'm also a cheapskate and 20 slot cheapest bag is around 12 gold or so. So what a cheapskate guy like me does in this case? I think I've got somewhere Almakan Bandolier, a simple 20 slot bag. It is probably on my thief for no reason. And let's see. Ah, there you are. You will have to come with me. So I will have to empty it up. And you, my friend, are coming with me. All right, let's deposit it for my necro. A little exchange and I'm gonna get it yes that's it okay the last thing is the swapping and there you go and this one we will keep for future generations this particular bag can be actually upgraded to a 32 slot bag step by step but right now I couldn't be bothered. By the way, you get this one after completing a story episode, a bug in the system, and you can upgrade it through lasting bonds achievement series. Now, what is the next best, easiest, cheapest and fastest way? It's just to come to fractals. And this meow guy has some bags and they are really cheap. These are divided by the rarity of the equipment but since i'm a cheapskate just give me a cheapest one thanks alrighty then let's just make a swap another bag for future generations all right i could just buy two more but for the purpose of this video uh hello excuse me i'm recording a video here uh mr ratus apparatus uh, okay so I will show you a couple more easy ways that I know of how to get two more additional 20 slots bags. And these will involve a couple of achievements and first being uh, uncanny, uncanny canner. You get a 20 slots bag for a bit of running around. And the other achievement is for bandits weapon specialist. Ah, for me this one is not even unlocked, but it's no big deal. So, let's start with canned jars, shall we? And for canned stuff, I relocked on my Soul Beast, because it has the most waypoints unlocked. And let's see what we need first. And we need a jar of bees. I think it involves Queensdale. And here we need to find Fiona Hastings, and I don't have... Veil waypoint unlocked and there it is. Let's just go there. Okay Let's see where it's on the map. It's right here and Miss or Mrs. Fiona should be somewhere down the road. Oh, there you are. Hello And it appears that here we have a dynamic event to protect uh, bees from hungry bears and we need to somehow trigger it. Ah, and it just started do that then and there we go it became a merchant jar of bees let's see what this does nice and i also have something else i didn't notice let's proceed to a frog in a jar shall we and for this one we will need lion scout tunira and that one i think is in blood tide coast there it is and the waypoint we need is archon foreland waypoint let's go there ah there you are i assume we will have to complete this heart and we will need to keep the drakes at bay or something all right i won't be catching anything i will just kill stuff as it appears because it also works and it literally took like two minutes. Lion's art can see. make or break you. Frog in the jar. Thanks. All right. What's next? Eh. So you, you actually like have to customer. buy both of them, right? Okay. Next we have Firefly in the jar, right? And it's convenient because that one is also in this map. And we need to go to Jalako Waypoint, which I don't have. Let's look for it. One becomes two. 
Oh, look at that. Gift. Actually, let's take it. I don't know. Maybe it's the one with the infusion. Yes, my little friends. I'm sure this is the one. Nah. Definitely this one then. Shinies. Come for shinies. Come on, hit me. I'll hit All mine. This is the one. <laughs> anyway, we've got the waypoint on our radar. Go there. And we need to find Explorer Malcolm. We need Firefly Essence and so on and blah blah for the Malcolm guy, which is by the way here. But how about we just shoot him? Not you. And that also took a couple minutes. Let's just go and talk to the guy. Give me what? Firefly in the jar. Thanks. Let's see what's next. Undead ash in a jar. All right. And for this one, we will go to Sparkly Pen. Ah, there it is. Silly me. And we need this waypoint. All right. And I will assume that we need to find the closest heart, right? Which is where exactly? Right here. Yeah. Quadinti. Wow. Help Quadinti. Man, let's go help Quadinti. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you're a frog. Hi. Okay, we need to do some reinforcements and light the signal fires. Maybe killing will do. No? Okay. Let's do that then. That one was even faster, like 30 seconds. Okay, we need what? Undead ash in the jar. Do we need this one? Oh, we need both of them. Very nice. Less running around. Aha. Uh -huh. We need empty honey pots. Right. And for that one, we will go to Wayfarer Foothills. And they are somewhere where it's cold. And I think we will entertain and protect the children there. All right. Ah, I remember this one. We will fight with some snowballs. Yeah, makes sense. Wait. Wait, there you are. I see you guys are naughty, so let me do something about it. Where are you running? There you go. The job is done. It was more like an entertainment the the part, Welcome not you. the protective one. Hey, you. Hey. And we need this stuff. Okay, what next? Jar of oil. For this one, we could actually visit Ratus. Novus land or Caledon forest uh, so I will choose plants in this case yes and we need this waypoint and we need to complete this heart alrighty then what are you hiding Mr. Caesar salad eh? I guess we will be able to play with some pups or kill something right this stuff also works for some reason even if a bit farther away. Bye bye. One becomes two. Alrighty, Mr. Waldorf. The heart is done. And we need what? Jar of le. Okay. What's next? Lightning jar. And for that one we will need to visit Ratus land anyway. Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. And the heart is conveniently placed on a cliff. Nah, let's just activate these. And mosquitoes also work. One more. And it's done. Excelsior. Yeah, yeah. Lightning jar. Right. What's Talk next? Oh, I think it's the last one. Twister in a jar. I had this jar of lost souls from somewhere. And it appears to be a drop from Ascalonian catacombs or a random drop from some mobs i will put the wiki page for this achievement in the description below as well and as i said i need a twister in a jar let's see if we can actually buy this one and we can and that's the last item and it costs close to nothing okay now let's go get it okay i came to world v world for a reason but let's just get our last item and see what happens Okay, and 
we received our bag or jar i should say ah let's put our accessory back and let's place it for a necro now as i said i came here for a reason because we have one last collection to do and that one involves bandit weapons but i need to unlock it first darn it i forgot let's go to silver wastes yeah and here we are the npc is right here and let's buy what this one and our collection is unlocked and look, I already have a couple of items. Now let's go back where we started. Okay. You see, you can buy 16 out of 19 weapons for this collection. Here from Karma Trader. And here they are. Blue ones will do. And there is a catch. Because if you have an empty slot, you can actually create a new character. A level 1 or 2. Come here and all these weapons will cost like 160 to 300 of karma and it would be much cheaper. But since I don't have an empty slot and I'm not buying it anytime soon unless it's on discount again. Yeah, so I guess I will have to spend some karma. Or you can go to trading post and actually buy bandit weapons. We will select any profession and from level 68 and this way you can salvage the rares and pretty much recover your expenses by salvaging them and selling the ectos but as for me karma will do and we need bandit cleaver yes what's next bandit focus so i'm pretty much done and i'm only missing three underwater weapons that you must buy on trading post and we need what bandit harpoon gun let's buy them quickly that's one bandit spear it's too expensive this one will do and the last one okay now let's go get it i will get it i like it yes and let's salvage them all right bloop bloop Another Look. proud moment. And we have our bag. Very nice, if you ask me. And we got four ectos, actually. And we recovered our costs. Let's place the baggie I know for the necro. My dream. Dreamless. When you will get older, dreams will fade anyway. There will be only empty nothingness. Alright? So, let's relog to our necro and take our baggies. Did someone say baggies? Where are my baggies? There they are. Mm, and I forgot to open it. And basically all this running around and this effort added me one additional line of 20 slots. But it's better than nothing. And it costed me pretty much nothing except the time. So, that's how you do it. And that's all there is to it. By the way, there is one more option that is quite viable. And if you go to this outfitter merchant, you can buy pillagers packs and sledge master satchels. These are also not that bad, but I'm a little bit more cheapskate than that. As I said, it's pretty viable because it's only few badges and seven gold. Alrighty then, have fun getting your baggies. And for now, I will thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.